What is the difference between displacement and total distance? To answer this, we are going to look at a ball bouncing up to 10 feet and back down to the floor. The ball is going to start on the floor at height 0, going to bounce up to 10 feet, and then come back down to the floor. Now keep in mind that displacement, also being the integral of velocity, by the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2, can be rewritten as the antiderivative of velocity, which is position at your final mark, minus the position at the initial mark. So it's your final position minus the initial position. Meanwhile, your total distance is the integral of the absolute value of velocity. Let's see what this means in context with our bouncing ball. The ball goes up to 10 feet. At this point, both the displacement and the total distance is 10. However, once the ball comes back down, the displacement is now 0 because the ball started at 0 and it ended at 0. It doesn't matter how far it went, it just matters where it ended up relative to where it started. So the ball is now at 0, it started at 0, and so 0 minus 0, its displacement is 0. However, total distance, because it's the integral of the absolute value of velocity, velocity, keep in mind, refers to direction. So while this ball went up, the velocity was positive, and as this ball went down, the velocity was negative. And that's why displacement cancels itself out because you have 10 going up, negative 10 coming down. Really, the displacement is positive 10 minus 10, giving us zero. However, the total distance, we're gonna forget about direction altogether. This ball went up 10 feet, and it went back down 10 more feet. And therefore, its total distance is 20 feet. So while displacement is 0 feet, the total distance here is 20 feet. If you ever want to find the total distance that anything has traveled, just take the integral of the absolute value of velocity.